Hey guys, it's Carrie Myers with Carrie Myers Photography, and I'm going to show you how to take our um, chalkboard fun overlay banner and transfer it onto an image, change colors, and make it look um, natural. Okay, so I already have my birthday banner uh, PSD file open, and next I am going to um, highlight the banner portion of the layer. So the birthday banner, the happy banner, strings, um, and happy birthday letters. I don't need the chalkboard for this, so I'm gonna leave that. And I'm just gonna drag those onto my image. And then you just need to resize them uh, to fit your image, like so. about perfect okay check that and next I'm going to go in and change all of the colors of the birthday banner to fit this image so I'm going to start first I'm going to start actually with the letters I want all of them the same color so I'm actually going to um, convert this to a smart object so I can just change all of the letters at once. If you didn't want to do that and you wanted each letter a different color, then you can go in, open the folder, and change the color of each individual letter. But for this, I don't want to have to go through and do that for all of them. I want them all the same color, so I'm just going to um, right-click and convert to a smart object. And then double-click on it, go over here to Color Overlay, and change the color of the letters. I want them white. Click OK. Now I'm going to go down and, I mean, if you want, you can change the color of the strings. I'm going to leave them as is for now. I'm going to go ahead and change the colors of the actual banners. So I'm going to start with the first one here. And I'm just going to cover, color overlay each time selecting a color that I want. And for this, I like to actually use my dropper tool and select colors from the image so they match. There we go. I'm just gonna go do each one real quickly. I'm gonna take a blue from here. I'm gonna make it a little bit lighter blue. Maybe a little bit lighter, okay. And for this one, I'm just going to do two colors. And if you wanted to do more than two colors or select um, other colors from the image, you could do that as well. But you get the idea. We're going to do yellow again. Okay. So just take me a second. Or two. Or three. Let's go to that one. All right, and then the B. I'm going to go ahead and do the happy banner. Let's see. Actually, I'm going to do that one yet. Almost done. One more. Oh, 
Okay. Now, I want this to look like it's not an overlay. Um, so I need to have some shadows there. So to, to do that, I'm going to go ahead and merge both of the banners by um, selecting both of them, right clicking and converting to a smart object. And then I'm going to double click on that layer and I'm going to go select over here, drop shadow. Now, it, here's where you can kind of play around with what you want your shadow to look like. I'm going to have this be a gray. I'm going to increase this a little bit so I can see better. And then I'm going to just play around with the size a little bit and the distance. So you can kind of see there we go um, depending on which direction your light source is coming from is going to determine what your angle is going to be so obviously my light source is coming from the right so I want the shadow to be on the left if, and you know if your light was coming from the left you want your shadow to be on the right so you can play around with that to change that So there you go. That gives you a pretty realistic shadow. Um, next, I tend to like it blurred just a little bit. So to, to kind of give a blur back there, you could use your blur tool over here. Um, or you can do what I'm going to show you next. So I'm going to flatten this now by going to Layer flatten image. I'm going to duplicate um, the background by hitting Command J. And I'm just going to go up to filter, blur, and I'm just going to do a, um, actually let's not do blur more. So let's do filter, blur, um, lens blur. And I'm going to have it set, let's see, um, let's do 17 for the radius. I'm going to hit OK. I'm not going to change anything else. Hit OK. To apply the lens blur filter. <clears throat> and then I'm actually going to do create um, a layer mask on top of this. And obviously I don't want this area down here blurred, so I'm just going to take my black paintbrush and mask that out. Okay, and if that's too, I would, that's a little bit too blurry, so I'm just gonna bring down the opacity a little bit. And there you go. It uh, looks like it's a little bit more in the background which helps it blend in more with your image. Okay, I'm gonna flatten that and you're done. You can go ahead and save your image and it's ready to go. You can purchase our chalkboard fun overlays and um, more of our overlays, the Valentine's Day overlays in our shop at www.carriemyersphotography.bigcartel.com. Thanks so much.